the first time I was drafted uh, by the Buffalo Bills, I remember sitting. What year is that? Uh, 1983. 83, okay. 1983, I'm sitting at my agent's house, and I'm watching on TV. My agent turned to me, and he says, uh, Jim, he says, is there anywhere you don't want to go? Now, remember, I went to the University of Miami out Florida. Mm -hmm. I go, oh, yeah, I don't want to play in Green Bay. I don't want to play in Minnesota, and I sure don't want to play in Buffalo. And then 14th pick comes up. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, oh, no. Buffalo Bills select with the 14th pick in the first round. University of Miami quarterback, Jim Kelly. I cried. <laughs> really? I literally cried, but I was like, you got to be kidding me. I spent a couple of years in the USFL, yeah. but I wind up going to Buffalo. To be honest with you, Josh, one of the best decisions I ever made in my life was becoming a Buffalo Bill in 1986. If the Buffalo Bills are going to be this impressive on offense the entire football season, AFC beware. How about you? Well, I'm a little different because I, I, I actually, this was one of my destinations where I wanted to go to. Oh, wow. So growing up in a small town, okay. and then I went to Wyoming. So I'd never been like in a big city type place. And I, I really don't consider Buffalo a huge city. And so this was one of my spots where I felt like I'd, I'd thrive well. Looks, fires straight down the middle. It is caught. Touchdown. Touchdown, Buffalo. I know that the longer you are here, and I hope that's a long time, you're gonna realize the same thing mm -hmm. if you don't already realize how important this city is and how these fans are. Yeah. You yeah. see that cold weather and they come out with their shirts, you know, shirts off and things written across. But how in the heck did they ever come up with jump on the tables? That I don't know about that. I don't know. And we don't uh don't condone that. He dove for the touchdown. Jim Kelly is being mobbed. The game is over. I remember back many, many years ago, I remember being on the David Letterman show. I always heard about the New York Jets, the New York Giants, the two big New York teams. I go, hold on a second. Buffalo plays in New York. As a matter of fact, we are the only New York team. Mm -hmm. Josh Allen looks for blocks. Gonna try to run it in himself. Headed to the corner of the end zone. He is in. Touchdown, Buffalo. After the Giants game, I got asked that. You could have been in New York City or you could have been in New York, and I go, I am in New York. What kind of point do you think you prove about what kind of player you are to, to, the, New York, to the New York City fans, you know, the, the New York teams? Um, one New York team. It's borderline disrespectful to not count us as part of New York. Like you said, the stigma with whole, the Giants and the Jets and how they're the New York teams, but don't actually play in New York. It's a home game for us, mother It's a home game! Come on! It's just kind of crazy, like, just the atmosphere in Buffalo right now. That, you know, whenever we go out to eat or something, um, people coming up to the table and just saying how happy they are and how proud they are of what the Bills are doing and what the Sabres are doing. Um, oh, yeah, yeah for so sure. It's a good time to be in Buffalo right now, so we got to keep it going. I love it. I love it.